kind of study including medium response because uh, because they include some uh, some interesting uh, physics of coulomb plasma uh, so we can study some uh, some interesting coulomb plasma properties involved with in medium summarization process because uh, some so during the propagation in the medium some jet energy have chances to be summarized in the medium so some part of jet energy and momentum can be summarized in the medium and then they propagate as jet induced flow in the hydrodynamic in, in the medium fluid and in the end this part this summarized part also measured together with jet. So some summarized parts are, are measured, measured, uh, measured as part of the jet. And they, and they uh, include, they carry the information during this process, during the in-medium in summarization process. So once the jet, the, 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 the patterns in the jet energy uh, re reach to the scale uh, very, sorry uh, very close to very close to the the typical energy scale of the medium constituents so so we we need to uh, consider they are summarized so so during this so uh, we can have this process uh, that we can have the information of this process in in some portion of the jet for example the typical energy scale of the hard pattern, oops, sorry. Typical energy scale of the hard pattern, which which can involve which can be involved in this in medium summarization process, and also we can we, we may have chance to know how how it, the hard pattern energy can diffuse during this in medium summarization process, and also the typical time scale which which uh, which the typical time scale of this process so such kind of information we can obtain by start by studying the details of some of the part contribution in the jet and also actually we need to have medium response contribution to have full picture of jet quenching in heavy ion collisions for example how the jet energy and momentum are redistributed in the final state in heavy ion collision. Here I have a trans, a transverse energy, a transverse momentum uh, distribution in the in the transverse plane. Uh, this is measured by CMS, and and here what we can, we see is that for uh, dijet event. So we can see two prominent peaks. One is for leading jet. And the other one is for a subleading jet, and subleading jet is defined as a jet which is which is second biggest, which has second biggest PT of uh, PT here. So this one has the smaller, this one has smaller PT than the leading jet. So here we have uh, we have smaller PT uh, PT of jet here, but if we divide the region like this, so the, uh, the hemisphere on the leading jet side, H lead, and the hemisphere in the subleading jet side, H sub, and if, I, if we take the sum of the momentum in the, in the region of leading jet side hemisphere, it's, it, it balanced with the sum of the momentum uh, captured in the in the region of uh, subleading jet side of hemisphere so this side and this side momentum are balanced so we can see momentum conservation even though we have uh, we have imbalance between leading jet and subleading jet and they these two jets are supposed to have the same pt initially before having uh, before having the medium interaction and so, uh, and what, how, how, how this imbalance are compensated by the, by the other particles. So we can see many, many soft particles outside of the jet cone. 
and they compensate the imbalance between leading jet to subleading jet. So such energy momentum conservation uh, can be seen only when we include medium response effect. Otherwise, we cannot have energy momentum conservation like this. So, uh, so uh, if we are interested in observables uh, involving such uh, involving uh, entire process in jet quenching like this, definitely we need to have medium response contribution in our in our theoretical study. Okay, uh, so here I have a uh, pause mark. So, do you have any question here? Bjorn, did you want to ask any from the chat? It looks yeah. like they've been uh, answered. Let me just see the latest one. Uh, how to produce jets outside and inside jet in medium? Well, okay, I cannot really <laughs> decipher what that means. So maybe if you could reformulate your question, I think that would uh, um, uh, so, Okay. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Um, and then the other question was, what do you mean by medium response? I think it's been answered, but maybe you can answer quickly. What do you mean by medium mm -hmm. response? So again, so here, so, so here we have, uh, we have interactions between jet particle and medium particle. So usually we focus on how the how the, how the evolution of the jet particles are affected by the kick from the medium particle. But at the same time, the medium particles evolution should, should, should be affected by the scattering with the jet particle. And this evolution is correlated with the jet propagation. So uh, to, have the entire, to have the entire picture of the jet quenching, uh, we need to have such contribution and we usually call them medium response effect. Okay, thank you. Mm. And I think we can come back to this other question once it's clarified a bit. You can go. So on. let's, yeah, let's move on for now. Mm. Great. Uh, 